The most important thing, and the thing that I want to focus on today, is the first sound you hear. Because all of you know, remember I told you that your music goes out into ether anonymously, and it sits in someone's <coughs> computer, and the music supervisor, or the film editor, or the producer from the agency, or maybe the creative team, which consists of the writer and the art director, they have playlists of their favorite stuff, and then they're also bombarded by libraries, and people who send them library music, which they can license for anything from $50 to $50,000. And there it comes pouring in. And those of you who have ever sat through a casting session by people who are busy, you know that casting sessions are often done on Fast Forward. And the version of Fast Forward in a casting session is that they listen to the first four or five seconds of the piece and they go, yes, no. Okay? It's just the way it is. So this company being an established ad music company in New York City, I think it was Duotone, um, they're smart. They start with a thing. You've got to have a thing at the beginning. Even if it's just, oh. The first sound you hear is absolutely essential. Um, then they go to the groove. They have repetitive, singable stuff okay, that the agency usually gives you the lyrics, so you have to make that work. Then they have this thing called the donut. The donut is where the pastry opens up and the voiceover can fit in and talk about the attributes of the product or when it's available or if it's not available on Sundays. Then you have more of the donut, which is the, the pastry part. That's your music. And then there's a thing at the end, which is often the logo or the mnemonic. Sometimes there's two there. But that's pretty much the ad formula. So intro, first three seconds, exposition of the situation, the problem, the storyline, whatever's going on, the new product. Middle section, which is sometimes in the music a breakdown. Do you know what a breakdown is? Uh, it's where you just kind of shut everything down to bass and drums or even just a, a pulse underneath. That allows the voiceover to speak. There's one other thing I think you need to always know. Those of you who are not Black Flag fans or anybody who likes to go to uh, poetry sessions, poetry with music, uh, that's what commercials are, is poetry, sometimes good, sometimes not so good, with music. So you've got a working job there. You're accompanying the poet.